Hey everybody, this is Darren Sabater again with Mike Lefkow, Bay Area News Group, Mercury News, East Bay Times. Uh, Mike, we're out here at Cal High in San Ramon. Five days before the big game. We're here early. <laughs> we are. Camp out. <laughs> Camp no, out in the quad. We just got done talking to Coach Palacci and uh, Cameron Fitzpatrick in advance of their big game on Friday night um, against Monta Vista. Uh, Neither of us will be here, but Vitas Masika is uh, down to be here in San Ramon on Friday night where the uh, Monta Vista Mustangs rank 10th, well, actually a tie for 10th with Palo Alto will be uh, playing host or will be visiting California. What do we think? I mean, this is a huge game. Well, this is a huge game and uh, this could very well be the two best teams in the East Bay Athletic League outside of De La Salle. So uh, the winner of this game is... Uh, Got destiny. It's in, in its own hands. Right, right. Uh, both teams probably an outside shot at the open. I would think pretty slim. Well, it depends on what happens in the Bay Valley. I mean, we were just talking to Cameron Fitzpatrick. I mean, who who knows? I mean, if Freedom pulls some upsets off, you know, Cal has that 15 point win at Freedom. Yeah, I mean, I think the open is really hard to call right now. I mean, we know De La Salle. I mean, if Clayton Valley wins out and wins impressively, I think they've got a real good shot. And then it just comes down to what happens with right. the Bay Valley Athletic League. So, yeah, so this should be an interesting game here on Friday night. Uh, another game that will be very interesting will be the one that you're at. Uh, we're number nine Freedom coming off the huge win over Antioch last week at home. Uh, we'll be playing second-ranked Liberty. Uh, huge uh, ramifications in this game, not only for the Bay Valley Athletic League uh, championship race, but also for the NCS Open Division. Well, you know, Freedom probably wants to get a little revenge in the championship game, uh, NCS Division One championship game last year. Liberty beat Freedom 37 to nothing, I think it was, and it might have been like 30 Much. to nothing at halftime. So uh, Freedom wants to get a little revenge, I would think. Uh, Liberty is a really good team. Freedom is a good team. This should be a very competitive game. I'm pretty sure Coach Cotter told me, Andrew Cotter, the, the first-year coach at Freedom, told me he is a Liberty alum. So you know, He is a Liberty a little, alum. A little bit of that going on. Uh, to me, this is Liberty's, I mean, we were looking at strength of schedule. Is this their toughest opponent to this point? I mean, they had Cardinal Newman on the road. But freedom, yeah, freedom at this level, uh, Division One level, I would say, that I would think that freedom was probably. I would have to think freedom would be a little tougher than Cardinal, Cardinal Newman, Newman or McClyman's. Um Yeah, no, I think this is going to be Liberty's first, re uh, well, toughest game thus right. far. Do we anticipate this being uh, low scoring? Uh, I mean, uh, Liberty's putting up pinball machine type numbers. I mean, another five touchdown passes for Jay Butterfield last week. Uh, do you anticipate Freedom slowing him down as uh, it did uh, uh, Will Carthon at uh, Antioch last week? Well, you know, if I have to base the game on what I saw last year, it's, it's hard to answer because Freedom just had a horrible night when they played Liberty last year. And they didn't slow down... Uh, Butterfield, they didn't slow down uh, Tyrell Sturgis Kofer. Um, they had a difficult, difficult time against Liberty, and right. they're going to have to, they're just going to have to play a better all around game. Right. And William Carthon was, uh, had the flu, according to the head coach, after the, uh, so I mean, throwing up before the game and dehydration, but uh, as one coach told you, you got to play sick. Well, yeah, and that's easy to say. You got to play sick. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't. I'm just saying what you told me. Yeah, no, I mean, you're right. I, one coach said, you know, you have to play uh, under the weather sometimes. But the thing is, it's easier said than exactly. done. And you don't know how kids are going to do it. These are high school kids, not Michael Jordan. Well, I mean, the thing is, I think Carnthong is a terrific quarterback, a tough, hard-nosed player. But, I mean, if he's throwing up before the game, he, he's in a weakened state by the time he goes out there anyway. And you've got some dehydration, and it's hard. And, and freedom's no slouch. Right. I mean, you know, you, it'd be one thing if you were playing an opponent that you'd normally beat by six or seven touchdowns, but you're playing freedom. That's <laughs> On the road. Good, yeah, not a, a good team to be sick In a BBAL opener. Yeah, no, that's not a good team to be sick against. Right, right. 
Um, the game that I will be at, I'll be in the South Bay, Santa Clara, where Wilcox will be at home to play Palo Alto in a top 10 matchup. Uh, Palo Alto, uh, I mean, until last year, they were the only Central Coast section team to uh, have won a state championship in football in this modern era of state championships when they beat Centennial Corona about six or seven years ago, actually seven or eight years ago. Uh, they are back. Uh, just hammered Milpitas last week. Um, and they, behind Jackson Chris and uh, Shepard, the receiver, uh, they'll be going up against uh, Wilcox, which also has taken its game to a, a completely different level. 5-0 and at this point with the, obviously, the statement-making win to open the season over Valley Christian. Uh, this game intrigues me. Uh, I'm excited for it. I'm ready for kickoff right now. I mean, this should be a really good game. Yeah, I think it'll be a very competitive game. It's uh, a game that you would make it's too close to call. Uh, I think the Wilcox coach is looking forward to it because he said that they've four weeks in a row, they've played opponents where they've had their first string out by the by the end of the first half, and so this will be a chance to really see what his team can do. I mean, they haven't been tested since the Valley Christian game. Two contrasting styles: the option offense for Wilcox, which they've used for years against Palo Alto, which Jack, Jackson Chris throwing up some pretty good numbers uh, uh, through the uh, the air. And uh, is it Aiden Chang putting up big numbers on the ground for Palo Alto? Right. So this is, a, this is going to be a very interesting game on the grass, unless they've changed since I've been out there last. Uh, Wilcox has natural grass That's out there on its field. So this should be a very, uh, very interesting game. Uh, De La Salle off this week, so no De La Salle. Comments, commentary? No, discussion. the uh, Spartans are taking a risk. Uh, Isaiah Foskey, their four-star defensive player, tight end, he's going to be visiting Notre Dame, going to the Notre Dame-Stanford game this week. Right. A couple of South Bay games that are normally headliners, but uh, this this week because uh, Bellarmine and Milpitas are having um, down years by their standards, uh, we'll see if they can get, uh, get on track this week. Bellarmine will be at Sarah on Saturday afternoon. Sarah did a number on Mitty last yes, week, it did. so you'd have to figure they're going to do one on Bellarmine too. But, you know, my guess is that the teams like Mitty and, and uh, Bellarmine, they can rise up and give you a hard time in any week. So, Who knows on that one? Yeah, I'm mean, not going to make it 35 Sarah, point I, off. Yeah, i got to think Sarah's heavily favored in that game. Uh, the other one, Friday night at Milpitas, where Los Gatos comes in. Um, at I believe four and one against the Milpitas team that uh, has now lost three times and uh, the last two weeks, 25 nothing to Salinas and now the blowout loss at Palo Alto. You know, obviously you have to think Los Gatos is gonna win by a big score, but again, Milpitas has got talent. Every year Milpitas yeah. has talent. They're a team that can rise up any week. You always think a team like Milpitas at some point during the year is going to yeah. upset someone, and you just don't know what week it's going to be or who's <laughs> it, it going to be, be against. Week. So, you know, you can't count Milpitas out. All right. Anything else you want to add besides uh, thank you very much for signing up for the newsletter, those of you who have. Uh, numbers are going, uh, I don't want to say through the roof, but they are uh, They're doing pretty well. They're are rising. Getting, yeah, we are getting some Unlike the stock, stock market today, <laughs> they're, they're rising. <laughs> they're rising, so sign up. Uh, go to uh, mercurynews.com, look for the high school page, and it's right there at the top. All you have to do is drop in your email address, and you will get updates. The, the weekend recap, which includes the, the top 10 of our right. 25 uh, top 25 rankings, and then the Thursday football preview. Yep, I would say go ahead and read it. It's, it's good, uh, and the rankings are always fun. All right, uh, that's a wrap here from Cal High, where it is warm here in San Ramon today. Yes, it is. All right.